Hey, look at that! It looks like we have a new challenger against today's Maverick. Living in the mountains, weighing in at 510 pounds, and has the ability of guarding. I love the secondary abilities. They all, they're all worded so funny. Alright, so today we're up against... Armored Armadillo. The guy who wasn't mentioned in Day of Sigma at all. A few of them weren't. Really, only a couple of them made appearances or got mentioned. So yes, this is a playable Zero hack. Uh, originally by Programmer Peru, uh, this has an addendum by Skull Emperor to basically just change the text so that uh, in cutscenes they don't refer to you as X, they refer to you as Zero instead. There's also a few other changes applied to that, mostly relevant to the capsules. One sec, uh, this thing will cr try to crush you to death. Uh, there's a sub-tank over here. Uh, do not get hit by this thing, though. Uh, the front of it will kill you. Uh, that is instant death. Those are spikes, and they're not just decor. They will kill you. Th those are practical spikes. <laughs> they are practical, they are death spikes. Anyway, though, yes. Armored Armadillo stage. Great song, first off. Uh, very cool stage as well. Uh, I love that they're just, um... Platform rides? I was going to call them minecarts, but they're not carts. They don't have sides. They're very dangerous at the side, in fact. Uh, though, that being said, they do have spikes on the end. However, those are just for show. When you're on a cart, don't worry about the spikes at the side. They will hurt, but you won't die. Anyway, though, yes, a uh, few things. First off, uh... The text fix patch for this hack does not have the best English, I will say, so it does better reflect who you're playing as, but, um, it kind of needed proofreading. Anyway, though, uh, by destroying that thing early, uh, before it can destroy the wall, you can also get a health upgrade. Destroying that thing without a special weapon can be pretty difficult but entirely possible if you do a lot of dash shots. Uh, the other thing is about the uh, sub-tanks. Sub-tanks are really cool, and I like them more than E-tanks. They start empty, meaning when you pick it up, it's useless. However, if you're at full health, extra energy you pick up will actually be changed to the sub-tank. So essentially, if you are doing well, you can get extra energy stored away for later. Or you can grind for it. Who knows? Anyway, other than making Zero playable, this is also a hard mode hack. Which, uh, did catch me by surprise. I was only half reading the text, if I'm being honest. I just thought, oh cool, playable Zero, I want that. However, yes, uh, the bosses in this mode are way harder. So, you know, think of Zero as the alternate, like, New Game Plus character. Uh, so, Armored Armadillo normally does not move around this fast. Uh, this does make him a very hard boss, because when he starts rolling around, he does so at the speed of sound. Which, again, oh god. It's entirely possible to predict him normally. This is kind of ludicrous. <laughs> the other thing this, uh, hack does is, I think it also makes him fire a little more frequently, so, like, he does more shots in a row. You might also notice that when he takes a defensive stance, if you hit him with a buster shot, he can basically just intake that energy, release it to an attack, but that's very predictable. Mainly it wastes time, and in fact he's doing it an annoying amount now. If you time it right, you can hit him right after he unleashes the energy, so that, you know, that's just a free hit, but... I feel like maybe the timing window for that is also kind of difficult for him now. To be fair, though, my only frame of reference otherwise is the boss refight version of him, which goes a lot more smoothly. And this version of the fight, where he is in a hard mode version of the fight. <laughs> you know what? I don't... I don't necessarily mind that. Like, this is honestly kind of a decision that Capcom would make. I mean, we did have Mega Man 9 and 10, where... 
Proto Man was playable, and he could do things that Mega Man couldn't, but then he took double damage, and you know... I kinda like, uh, in theory, harder bosses, but most of them boiled down to... I made them move faster and attack more frequently, so now they're just kind of annoying. <laughs> Not terrible, though, admittedly. There were some close calls here, but I had a lot more fun learning a faster version of Armored Armadillo than I would necessarily expect. Also, that glitch hasn't been fixed at the time of recording this, so sorry, Zero's going to be blue on the Weapon Get screen. Anyway, we got Rolling Shield. Will we see that next time, or will that go the way of Shotgun Ice, and will it go unseen? Who knows? I mean, this wasn't a good stage for it, so you know, I wasn't gonna show it off if it wasn't a good stage for it. Sorry, Shotgun Ice. I am under strict orders to protect this mine. You don't need to take orders from someone like Sigma! He's insane! Open your eyes, Armored Armadillo! Whether he's insane or not, it's not my place to judge him. I must obey. Looks like you've gone maverick. I'm taking you out. Enough talk. I'm ready to obey my orders. Enough talk. Let's fight! <laughs> <laughs> 